Hello, so this is going to be a video including a very important safety uh, load of information regarding old radium aircraft instruments because some of these can be particularly hot. Both of these are British World War II ones, I believe, um, because Britain was known to dope their um, dials and absolutely loads of radium. So I'll see. Radium was used in glow-in-the-dark paint back in the old days before we really knew the dangers of it or didn't care about the dangers of it. And it was very useful for glow-in-the-dark paint. Now there's a couple of warnings for these dials. Um, and there's a few channels that have covered this before. But the issue is a lot of channels haven't actually really um, talked about how much gamma can potentially come off of these. And this is something I want to demonstrate with the um, DP75, the beta shield closed, because you can actually use that to measure gamma quite accurately. So. Um, I'll just go over the quick warnings. Radium paint, obviously, like any radioactive source, if it gets in your body through inhalation or ingestion, can be very, very deadly. Um, and as you can see on some of these, don't open the glass on them, because if I get this one in frame, you might be able to see that the paint is flaking off and it shakes around inside. So, yeah, uh, that's, you know, no good. So, there's that. Um, also, you know, there's a danger. Apparently, these, if not sealed properly, can release radon gas over time. So I guess make sure you put them somewhere that's either very well ventilated or you keep them in an airtight box and then every now and again take the box outside, open it and close the box again. So, let's talk about the amount of gamma these give off and we'll sh I'll show you beta as well. So if I put the radium dials facing up here, I'll tell you what, I'll just zoom the camera out so it's a bit easier to get everything in frame. There we go. So let's put the mini monitor on first. So he's already picking up, reading up from him just sitting there. But with his probe on the top, but um, yeah, so obviously if I have the alpha mica window open that also reads beta through the front and put them down on there, you know, what you expect would happen would happen, um, but here's the interesting thing, let's say I put the cap on this, right, so where was I, so I was, yeah, saying obviously as you'd expect with the beta shield open, you get a lot of beta readings, now let's talk about gamma. So, as you can hear, that's ticking away higher than background as it is. Um, let's move this in a bit closer. And bear in mind, we're not even facing a dial of it at the moment, it's just down there. <laughs> but um, it's already somehow getting in. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, let, let's see what sort of bait, uh, gamma sorry, reading we get. Just sitting the probe on top with it penetrating the side of the probe. Yeah. 100 counts per second, roughly. Okay, so that's that one. Let's now go, I'll flick this one off so you don't hear that clicking in the background and distracting you. Let's now take an accurate uh, reading using this one, because the shield on this is definitely good enough you're only going to get gamma. So hopefully you'll be able to read that there. I'll just put these down again so they're sort of there. And I'll put this, I'll tell you what, it's probably not the best idea in the world, but let's prop that on there so you can sort of read that. I'll zoom in a bit more on that one. And the dials. Right, it's now set to um, manual focus. Sorry, autofocus, so you should be able to read it a lot better. So, what we're going to do now, flick this one on, and we're going to go all the way down to 0 0.5 millironcom per hour. So the top end of the dial is 0 0.5. See the needles already shooting about? So let's get these both roughly even. There we go. And let's put in, uh, the probe right next to it. Oh, we're off the chart. Okay, so let's go to 5 millironcom per hour. Zero it. See it shooting all the way up? Of course, some of the bits of the face might be more sensitive than other, you know, areas of the face, but, you know, at the moment, that's getting to 3 to sort of 4, maybe even higher than that, millironcom per hour. Now, what I might be able to do, I'll just put this down a second, so that's going to sit there. I'm going to get one of these and put each of them sort of on each side of the probe. Uh, now it's going even higher. So let's go up to 5 millironcom, uh, sorry, 50 millironcom per hour. Zero it, and if we now look at the dial, what you'll probably notice is it should get between 0 0.5 and 1, so between 5 and 10 millironcom per hour coming off of this. Um, it was anyway earlier when I was doing it, if I tilt some of these it might end up making more gamma hit it due to the direction of how sort of gamma works being very directional. But yeah, th the point is with this that if you have radium dials, especially aircraft instruments, they're absolutely doped in radium, some old radium clocks and all that, make sure you know what you're getting into. Um, as I have Geiger counters and everything, I can measure them. A lot of people don't, so I'd be a bit worried about um, 
you know, potentially how much they could be exposing themselves to without realising, especially if they open these babies up, which I'm not even going to do, as tempting as it is. So, yeah, there you go. Yes, World War II aircraft dials can be very, very radioactive, um, to the point, you know, where if you look on the scale of where we're on the Geiger counter, um, we're at the stage now where, you know, we're thousands of times what background radiation is really, or at least hundreds of times background radiation. I mean, because some people like, you know, ticking Geiger counters, this might give you an idea. You know, just doing that, that's, that's the gamma, that's the scary thing. You know, the gamma reading is high on this. Not, not, just, not just beta and things like that, but, you know, the gamma, the one you can't hide from. Um, I'm actually keeping these in a lead line box, just so you know. But yeah, there you go. World War II uh, aircraft instruments. Make sure you know what you're getting into.